Tracking storms and rain all over the place. In fact, uh, one strong thunderstorm that's on the map. You can see the lightning strikes over, the, over uh, northern Jefferson County, just north of Hamer, I think right around the Camas area, just south of Dubois. That is pushing off towards the east northeast. There's more moisture upstream for the rest of us. So yeah, we're still in for a wet one this evening. A lot of this will die down as we lose some of the energy of the atmosphere that drives uh, these showers and thunderstorms. But we're still under the influence of low pressure, which is centered right over the Gem State. This will wobble eastward tomorrow tomorrow and we'll be on the wraparound side of that moisture for that low pressure system. So yeah, we got more rain in the forecast for tomorrow and a risk of more thunderstorms, but this low will be well to our east by Wednesday and that will set the stage for a nice and very warm start to July. So yeah, we just get through the next day or two. Still pretty wet out there and certainly on the cool side, especially in the afternoon. Overnight, we'll see low temperatures in the 40s, which is pretty typical for this time of year. We got rain showers on the way. If you haven't got any more rain, there's more coming, basically, uh, this evening, especially with a risk of thunderstorms. We're looking at scattered rain showers and thunderstorms in the central mountains, so less of the widespread stuff, more of the hit and miss. Low temperatures will range from the mid 30s to lower 40s. Chalice at about 42. We got rain and showers and thunderstorms hit and miss for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Lows will stay above freezing, but snow levels dropping down to about 7,500 feet. So Yellowstone will see a rain snow mix later tonight. And then for the southeastern corner of the state, rain showers, widespread, a risk of thunderstorms, especially this evening. Lows generally in the 40s and another wet day tomorrow with a risk of more thunderstorms. High temperatures will hit 60, barely, and I think it'll have a hot spring. They'll be one of the lucky few. Montpelier still in the 50s. In fact, a little cooler than it was today. More rain on the way for the upper highlands, western Wyoming, and we could see some thunderstorms as well. High temperatures ranging from the mid 40s, the lower 50s, and it looks like for the uh, central mountains, <laughs> another wet day with a risk of thunderstorms. At least a few of us will be in the 60s. And for the Snake River Plain, same thing. We could see some thunderstorms as well. High of about 60 in Pocatello, maybe not quite as cool as it was today, but still way below average. Southeast Idaho, Chevy Dealer seven day forecast. Look at Wednesday. Ooh, okay. We like Wednesday. First day of July, right? Partly sunny. And it gets even warmer as we get into July 4th, Saturday, 87. Very warm weekend and storm free. Ah, just in time for that holiday weekend, right? I know falls, we get through tomorrow. Look at that. Just beautiful as we start off July and beautifully warm too. So if you're missing that warmer weather, it's a coming. Just take a few days to get here for the Teton area. We got warming, warming temperatures starting Wednesday and drier as well. High temperatures warming the 70s and dry through the holiday weekend. Central mountains. Dry after tomorrow, we could see some showers and thunderstorms late in the day on Friday, but warm and dry this weekend.